This is Left Him Done. A Bollywood king, an actor, a director, and a great force of Indian cinema. A man of many hats and each one more impressive than the last. And today, I'm going to talk about him. Who he was, and why you should care. He lived to be 88, so I think it would be unwise of me to speak of him in his entire life. So let's start somewhere a little more reasonable. Lek Tindan was born in 1929 in Lahore, Punjab, during the British colonial era of Indian history. He was always quite motivated for film, and his entire career was based around that. Beginning as an assistant cameraman in 1948, he had a very strong beginning, and that strength continued farther into his career when he directed The Professor in 1962. From that point on, he went on to direct films, TV shows, and act. Over time, he accrued a pretty massive and respectful filmography. He directed eight TV shows, 25 films, and acted in eight films. And this, I think, really goes to show that the man had many artistic contributions. He made truly colorful films, with bright and wonderful light radiating off of them. His films glowed with almost all of the beauty of the subcontinent and its wonderful people. I think I can really see the influence there. Though, I think it may have come from other places as well, from other Indian films. The films from India nowadays have a brightness and color to them, and I think Lek Tendon might be partially responsible. I can see the same glow from his films in others as well. He helped popularize the musical genre, which became a major Indian export, though he didn't invent it. He did influence people in other ways, though. His film, Amrapali, grew to have national acclaim and influenced many directors after it. Amrapali was a historical film and was well known throughout India but not far outside, though it did get selected as the Indian entry for the best foreign language film in the 39th Academy Awards. I think this film went on to influence many people quite a bit. It helped popularize anti-war sentiments in historical films. The movie was pretty great when it came to its anti-war messages. Dance sequences, sets, and costume design. In the face of it, Seems like a pretty simple story about a soldier falling in love with a woman named Amrapali who helps heal him after the war, but he is revealed to be lying about his identity. He is actually from an enemy nation trying to conquer hers. Eventually, Amrapali escapes the soldier and finds peace in the teachings of Buddha at the end of the movie. And as soon after, the soldier lays down his sword and joins Buddha. Though it is quite simple, it's also quite interesting in some ways. The depiction of war in the movie is very different from that